Hey guys, Kevin here for those of you that don't know and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the top 5 essential gear and equipment when you're out shooting low budget music video. Of course this list is all based on my opinion and can change depending on whether whatever music video you're doing but I do find myself using a lot of this equipment on most of the shoots I do go on which is why I've compiled this list. So I'll definitely recommend for you to check some of the stuff out if you do not already own them. Everything that I mention will be in the description below for you to go ahead and purchase. And again, because this is a low budget list, everything will be under the £200 mark as I feel that's a fair price for anybody that's really serious in becoming a director or a DOP within the field. And finally, this list will not include the obvious essentials such as the camera, the batteries, the SD cards, so on and so forth. And you can't really film a music video without those stuff. So this will just be external gear to help you get a better video in the end. So number one is ND filters. ND filters are essential for daytime shooting. And what they allow you to do is get shadow depth of field shots in daytime. So a lot of you may have come across the fact that when you're shooting outdoors, in order to get an image that's not overexposed, you have to turn up the aperture and maybe increase the shutter speed. But often at times you don't want to increase the shutter speed because you want to keep it at 1 over 50 to match the frame rate. And you do not want to increase the aperture because you want that shallow depth of field. So what the ND filter does is it allows you to put it on the camera and dial in the amount of light that's getting into your camera. So as you can see, this is a variable ND. I don't know if you can see that. When I turn it here, it gets brighter and darker. So with that, I can darken this if there's too much light outside and it will allow me to keep my aperture low so I can get those really shallow depth of field cinematic shots. So having an ND filter is essential. You can buy these on Amazon. They start at about £10 and then they can go up to hundreds of pounds. But this is the one that I'm using. I'll put a link to it in the description as mentioned. And yeah, make sure you grab one of these when you're shooting out in the data. Number two is masking tape and duct tape. So with masking tape and duct tape, you're probably wondering why you'd need this because it's not something that you put on your camera. But let me explain. With this, you're able to do a number of things. You can use this to mark your points on the floor when you're trying to get a performance shot for the artist. You can use these to stick gels to your light. There's tons of different reasons why you'd need this in your arsenal. Like they come in handy all the time. I'm, I tend to go through, I don't know, like a roll a month with, with using this so I know other directors will probably use this even a lot more and then some may not even use it but I would definitely say to get your hands on some of this stuff because it will definitely help you when you're out shooting when you need to stick stuff maybe even against a wall like for example I had a shoot not too long ago where I had to stick a flag on a wall and I had duct tape when we had nothing else to use so that came in handy I would never have thought, wow, I need to buy this to stick a flag to a wall, but it came in handy. So always make sure you got this and it will definitely help to get you through certain shoots. So number three is a portable speaker. So you're probably wondering again, why do I need a portable speaker? And it is obvious, but at the same time, it may not be obvious for some. A portable speaker will allow you to get the performance you need out of your artist. So for example, if you're shooting out on the street, and you've only got your phone to play from, your artist is not really gonna feel the beat, he's not really gonna get into the song and you're not gonna get a good performance for what you need. So a portable speaker will allow you to play the music as loud as you can in that area without really disturbing anybody obviously, but it'll allow you to play the song a lot louder and therefore get the artist to a point where he feels comfortable to perform and get, for you to get the best out of it, which is the ultimate goal. So. A portable speaker is essential when shooting outdoors. Portable speakers start from about £20 and as you probably well know, they can go up to hundreds of pounds again, even probably even in the thousands. But this one here, I got from Maplins for about £80. I've had so many portable speakers throughout my career. Uh, most of them do come from Amazon, but I thought, let me go for this one. And yeah, if you want this one, I'll put the link in the description below. If not, then I'll put other links to other ones that I've used in the past and that are really great. But yeah, make sure you get yourself a portable speaker and use it on every shoot you can. Number four is LEDs and lighting gels. 
So these are pretty straightforward. When you're shooting at night, you need light to get into your camera and to light your subject. So with a lot of the scenes that we do within our scene in London, with the grime, hip hop, trap kind of scene, a lot of it is shot at night due to the fact of what they're talking about and night tends to suit most of the videos. So lighting is essential. Having maybe one, two, or even three of these lights will allow you to light your subject and get a better image. Because in the way that your eyes work, you can't see in the dark, is the same way that your camera works. If there's not enough light, you're not gonna get a good image. And it often is grainy if you're using a low, uh, a camera that's not, not very good in low light. So having light is essential. No matter what camera you're using, you're always gonna need light. And with the gels as well, that allows you to add just different colors and different vibe to certain videos. So you might have a video that they're, it's a dark vibe, but at the same time, a red may help sell what he's talking about, or a blue might help sell what they're talking about. Whatever it may be, whatever color they need, colors always help sell a certain type of vibe and a certain type of theme to the video. And that's why gels are also important. Again, gels can be found anywhere. I bought these from Amazon. I think they were about 10 pound as a pack. The LEDs as well. These ones start from about I think 120 pounds and then you can get different brands that go up in the thousands but again i'll leave the links in the description below these are the aperture amarons i think let me just double check yeah aperture amarons they're on amazon and again yeah i'll leave the link in the description but having leds and gels are a central part of filming last but not least is stabilizers so with stabilizers, as you can imagine, it allows you to get stable shots when filming. I've used stabilizers from as soon as I could afford one really, because I've always wanted smooth shots. If you watch any of my videos, you realize that I like nice dynamic smooth shots throughout my, um, throughout my music videos. And having a fly cam, uh, a Ronin, a steady cam, whatever it may be, all of these allow you to get smooth shots. Obviously they take a bit of practice and some are more expensive than others, but having a stabilizer will allow you to get those smooth shots in different angles, in different circumstances. It allows you to run with your camera. So you may be doing a, an action scene where you need a smooth running shot and this will allow you to do that. So getting your hands on a stabilizer is essential when filming different scenes. Of course, some stuff is suited for handheld, some stuff is suited for tripods. There's always a reason for different gear and that's why they all exist and coexist. But having a stabilizer is very important. I would probably not be able to do most of the videos that I do without my DJI Ronin or even a fly cam. I still do use the fly cam sometimes, but I am using the Ronin at the moment. I didn't include the Ronin in this list because it is slightly expensive and that's why I've shown you the fly cam. The fly cam costs about £160 when I bought it and yeah, it helped me do a lot of the shoots. I even shot a very popular video which was new waving on this um, fly cam. So it is kind of a legendary fly cam to me. But yeah, get yourself one of these. I'll put the link in the description as well. And yeah, stabilizers are the way to go. So that's my top five list. Other notable mentions that I haven't put in the list but are as important would be stuff such as tripods, which I did briefly touch on, sliders, which allow you to get smooth shots, and people, people in general. Having people around always helps. Having extra hands on set always helps you. So people may not cost. You may have friends that are down to come and help out. So and then others will maybe want to charge for their services, but having people will always help on set and I'd recommend having all of these stuff when shooting your music videos. So that's it guys, my top five essential gear and equipment when shooting low budget music videos. Again, this list is all based on my opinion and it is stuff that I use very regularly and what I would recommend for you upcoming directors to be using. When it comes to different videos, of course it all changes. Big budget videos require different stuff and more expensive equipment. So it may be the same sort of thing. So a stabilizer will always be something that stabilizes your shot, but of course they vary in price. So I would always recommend to check these five things out. Maybe get your hands on them 
and again i'll leave the links to all of them in the description below so you can click through and check them out and maybe buy some for yourself everything is going to be under the 200 pound mark as i as promised if you do want to get the more expensive stuff then feel free i would recommend doing your research before doing so and if you need help on that then feel free to drop a comment below in the meantime please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it all helps me to create more content and i will be pushing out a lot more content as i mentioned in the past few videos that i've released and i'll see you in the next one peace